Good afternoon, everyone. It is Saturday. Today is December the 21st. And off the bat, I just want to wish everybody a very happy Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas and a uh, Happy New Year. Um, yeah, if your hunting season is still going uh, and you're still at it, uh, good luck. And uh, that's what I'm doing today, as you can probably tell by my attire. Um, we are in our West Virginia. Um, muzzleloading season this week we get uh, seven days it started last monday this past monday and it goes out tomorrow which is the 22nd sunday um i don't have a muzzleloader i had one for about gosh probably about 15 years my wife got me one of my oldest so it was really small and uh it was a fairly cheap muzzleloader but hey it did the job i've killed several deer with it my youngest son has killed i think two deer with it uh just having some issues that I really wasn't crazy about. I thought about getting rid of it a couple times. Well, this past year, I actually did get rid of it. And uh, my plans was to get another one because you can get a fairly decent muzzle that fairly cheap anymore. They're not real expensive. You know, I mean, they do have some expensive ones, but no more than I would use one. Um, they got some it's much easier to clean, a little bit of safer features on them stuff than one I had. And... Um, but due to my truck breaking down, which is still broke down, by the way, <laughs> it's getting too close to Christmas. I'm a, that's my first priority after Christmas, get my truck back on the road. And going into my venture of saddle hunting this year, uh, which did cost me a little bit of money to get everything that I got. So uh, with those two, I just put that on the back shelf. But um, between that and getting some really good video recording equipment, you know, nothing real pricey, but... Uh, definitely get me uh, some kind of camera. Maybe I'm looking at a couple of different camera arms to get for next year and another muzzleloader. That's a couple of the things that I'm really looking for next year. Uh, probably the top thing I'm looking for next year, I think I'm going to go to, I'm shooting a Matthews no cam. I've had this motor for going on, this is my second year with it. And I like it, but I think I'm going to get me an Elite. I've been interested in those for several years. I almost bought one when I bought this, but I came across a better deal with this one, so I went ahead and got it. But, uh, that's probably going to be my biggest purchase next year if I can swing that one off. But uh, our big game season goes out, um, let's see, the 31st, which will be this coming Tuesday. Uh, not, very, not very many days left. Well, not this coming Tuesday, I'm sorry. This coming Tuesday is Christmas Eve, so a week from this Tuesday. And I did say that I'd sold my muzzleloader in the muzzleloader season. You may be wondering what I'm doing. Um, I'm bow hunting season. Uh, it's perfectly legal for us to bow hunt. I still have two bow tags, which one of which I can take a buck. And I checked my camera up here earlier this week, Tuesday, I think. And I actually had a really nice little waypoint. I had a couple of pictures of him in here. Uh, they were morning time pictures. And uh, and I had a spike with about, gosh, pretty good spikes, probably four or five inch spikes. It was pretty good ones for a spike deer. Uh, I really decided just to let both those go. The only deer, the buck that I would probably shoot up here if I he runs across my path, is the really big A point that's bigger than the one I shot uh, two Saturdays ago. Which actually today is the first day I've hunted in two weeks. Um, I've been feeling very good. I had an opportunity to hunt yesterday evening after work. I, I was thinking about it. And I got home, just wasn't feeling very good. Set my alarm for this morning. Still wasn't feeling 100. percent I'm feeling. I'm, Feeling a lot better now. I had a little bit of nap, a little bit. Yeah, I woke up and it was three. About three o'clock. I was like, "Who made the woods?" But uh, the reason I'm wearing blaze orange because it is muzzleloading season. And, you know, I am hunting on private property. I'm pretty much guaranteed there's nobody else around me hunting. It's still a law. I do have to wear some blaze orange today and tomorrow. And then uh, next Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Next Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, uh, we have. Uh, doe days or youth days coming in. I think we got two two days after Christmas, I believe, is youth days, and the next four days after that are doe days, and I still have a doe tag. And I'm going to check on both of my cameras and both of my spots up here. I have a considerable amount of does. Actually, probably I've had more does on these cameras since the second week of gun season till today than I have consistently uh, all year. So that's pretty much what I'm doing up here today. Um, I'm going after a doe this evening, and uh, and then I'll have one more bow tag. But I am off work until Thursday. I don't get back to work till the day after Christmas, so probably won't hunt tomorrow. If I do, it'll just be a quick morning hunt in the morning. But um, so I'm still not feeling 100. percent Probably won't do that. My plans right now are to hunt Monday morning, Monday evening, and Tuesday morning. Uh, 
and then this evening, and hopefully I can get my two bow tags filled uh, within that time frame. And or if not, you know, I still got uh, some evening hunts coming up in the next few, you know, next week. Also, uh, but I do plan on uh, trying to fill my doe tag first of all. With I can use a rifle with it. So anyway, guys, I mean, this is the first video I've made since uh, shot my buck two weeks ago. But like I said, I haven't hunted any. Um, depending on how successful I am over the next, uh, let's see what we got, about 10 days left in the season. Uh, may compile everything in one video, may not, you know, if, I'm, if I do get tonight, I may make a little video and go ahead and post it tomorrow. I'm not real sure. Um, at the most, it'll be today, I mean, at, at most, it'll be uh, two little videos or one big one, like I said, really. Depends on my time I'm able to get in the woods and uh, the time I'm able to uh, hunt. So I'm gonna quit uh, jibber jabbering about that. You know, it's a busy time of year for me. I'll get in a little bit of that a bit later. Uh, I do plan on probably within a few days after the season goes out, um, make a little uh, review video of my season so far, and, I, and I've enjoyed it. I've, you know, I've had a really, really good season as far as seeing deer and you know time to be able to hunt and stuff. It's it's really slowed down over the last month, but. Uh, you know, to, just involved in several different things and we're busy and the weather. Yeah, this, I mean, the last two weeks we have had so much rain in this area. There's been several days that I had opportunities to hunt and it was just absolutely pouring down, pouring the rain, been raining. And it just, it was crazy how much rain we got in about a 10 day period. Uh, so that really knocked me out of a few days there. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video right now. It's uh, four o'clock. I got about an hour and a half before dark. I'm about 150 yards from the tree that I'm going to be getting in. But I am going to do a year in review of my season, and then probably within the first few weeks of January, I'm going to break down uh, some of the items, uh, reviews, um, items that I've used this year. And it's mainly going to be in my saddle setup. Uh, I did get a new bike pack, and also got a new pair of boots this year. I don't think I mentioned in any of my videos, but I'm really liking them, so I'll probably do them in my bike pack together because I ain't got a whole lot of stuff to say about them, but it's all good. Uh, of course, my saddle, my saddle platform, and my new Hawk helium sticks. Uh, I'm going to break each one down and do a review on all of them, but uh, just a quick glimpse of it. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with all of them, but uh, I'll go in a little more detail about that. So, uh, like I said, guys, thanks for watching. This may or may not get posted before Christmas. I'm not sure. Like I said, today's Saturday the 21st, so we don't have a lot of days left this year anyway. So, uh, just uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and God bless if I don't uh, talk to you again before then. week or so of hunting here in West Virginia. I am bow hunting today on most lure season went out to uh, Sunday. Today is Tuesday, December 24th. It is Christmas Eve. It is 10 o'clock in the morning and I don't know if you can tell behind me or not, but it is still extremely foggy up here this morning. Um, had two, probably year and a half old spikes come in this morning. It's just extremely foggy. Um, one of them didn't stick around very long. The other one stuck around for quite a while. Left and come back again. Offered me several shots. And I debated on taking it. But uh, just little spikes. I'm going to let them try to grow. Because um, there's just a ton of those up here. And I'm trying to get some dope takes filled. So uh, we're going to be hunting this evening. Got some errands to run. Go home and run here a little bit. My wife has to work today. Unfortunately, she doesn't get home until 5 o'clock this evening. And of course, we've got family events going on this evening and pretty much all day tomorrow. So, uh, and I will be back to work on Thursday. Uh, I do, as of right now, weather permitting, I'm going to try to hunt Thursday evening, Friday evening, Saturday morning, possibly Saturday evening, and probably Sunday morning. Uh, Monday, I'll have to work, and then Monday evening, I've got an obligation. Have to work, and then Tuesday, me and New Year's Eve, I do have to work, but I got off at two, so. Um, and I do plan on probably hunting maybe Tuesday evening, and the reason is I still have two bow tags. <laughs> and, uh, and then starting Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, uh, is our uh, last four days of West Virginia doe season. And, uh, I still do have a doe tag, and I can use a rifle for that, so. Um, I would like to take at least two deer. Um, I'm really wanting to donate one to the hunter. Hunters for the Hungry program, and uh, I'd like to get maybe one more for myself, and 
and split it up between uh, burger and uh, sausage. I made some deer sausage, breakfast sausage last year for the first time. I uh, really liked it. I uh, made a little bit this year. I've actually got a pack thawed out right now. I'm getting ready to get off the hill and go fix some uh, breakfast, some biscuits, and deer sausage this morning. And I uh, go do a few errands throughout the day and get ready for my wife to come home this evening. So. Just a little quick update, and like I said, this video won't be posted until after Christmas sometime. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish out the whole week or how I'm going to do it, but uh, anyway, just uh, wishing everybody a very, very merry, blessed Christmas. Uh, don't forget our military and all those who have to work on uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, or especially those who can't be with their family for whatever reason, so just remember those. and. Have a happy new year, and I hope your season went well. If it's still got some, I hope you're still out there pursuing. Thanks for watching. Morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning. It's December 29th. Uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning. <coughs> Getting ready to head off the hill, go to church. Um, it's the second day of our last four days of the season, for our second day for our doe season. Uh, hunting up here yesterday morning, uh, different spot down over the hill right here from where I'm at now. Uh, had a doe and a little one come in, and I was going to take her, and she never offered me a shot. And uh, she was uh, hanging around for about 10 minutes. Had a small spike come up the hill, and uh, he uh, got up there and he got real nervous. He seen them and he got nervous. I don't know if they made him nervous or what, but uh, anyway, he took off. Uh, the wind was in my face. I had good wind and everything. He took off back down the hill running, back down the hill. Well, that made the doe and the other one real nervous. And so she got ready to leave and they was leaving and she had one, had one little opening, last opening, and she stopped it. The only thing I had was her head and just a little bit of her neck was showing. <clears throat> the rest of her body was behind a tree. And uh, impatience got the best of me. <clears throat> and so I took a headshot, which I took them before with solid rest. <clears throat> and I've, you know, I've taken, I've taken them and killed deer that way. I never take them offhand. I always make sure I got solid rest. And I was in my saddle, I was solid. Gun was against a tree, my hand had, was against a gun. Perfectly solid. She was about 50, 55 yards. Uh, shot, still off running. I thought I'd missed. Pretty sure I missed. Uh, hunted for another hour. Uh, didn't see anything. Got down where, where she was standing, seen where she took off running. Couldn't find blood anywhere. I found a trail she went out on. There's several trails down there. Uh, got on that trail and walked for quite a ways to go through a pine thicket. Uh, seen absolutely no sign of her laying anywhere, so I'm pretty sure it was a solid miss. I uh, had somewhere I had to go yesterday morning, so I got off the hill, went there, and got back home about 1 o'clock. Uh, got something to eat. Went outside and shot my gun, and the elevation was dead on, but it was shooting about 10 inches to the left. Not sure where, how that happened or what happened. Uh, you know, I always check it before gun season. It was dead on. I shot that buck. You know, he, he was practically pretty much the same spot she was at when I shot him. Didn't have any issues there. Uh, shot again last week a couple times because I knew doe season was coming up. Um, took three shots. They was all within two, two and a half inches of each other where I was aiming, so pretty happy with that. But yesterday it was about 10 inches off, so I made some adjustments, shot again. Got about halfway there and made some more adjustments, shot the third time. It was right back where it should have been, so anyway, so it was a clean miss. Not sure what happened there. <clears throat> so last night I decided to come up here to this other spot, and the uh, only thing that showed up was two small spikes. <laughs> I've been covered up in spikes since gun season went out. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to play on shooting anything that small, which I can still bow hunt, but I was trying to fill my doe tag. And uh, so I got back up here again this morning, and absolutely nothing. I haven't even seen a squirrel this morning. And, uh, anyway, like I said, we got church here about an hour. I've already had my shower this morning. Just got to go home and change clothes and uh, get ready for that. Family's down there getting ready now. So uh take me about 10 minutes to get by nine off the hill. I'm going to go up here and check both my cameras on the way off the hill, see what's going on with them. But uh, anyway, guys, Tuesday is New Year's Eve, and that will be the last evening I get to hunt. I have to work Monday and Tuesday. I have an obligation Monday evening, so uh, 
Uh, we got some pretty heavy rainstorms coming in this evening, or I'll try to come back this evening for church and try to get one this evening, but uh, we got some pretty heavy rainstorms coming in this afternoon, so this evening's probably going to be a washout. So I am undecided if I'm going to be carrying the gun or the bow. More than likely, just because I love it so much, I'm probably going to be carrying the bow. But I would like to get at least one more deer before the year's out, so the gun would give me a much better opportunity. So got a few days to dwell on that, and I'm probably going to have about two, two and a half hours to hunt <clears throat> Tuesday evening. So that is going to wrap up my season this year, and uh, I'm just going to wait and see what happens then before I close this video out and uh, go ahead and post it. It may be a little bit long, but... Uh, Anyway, guys, it's been a good one anyway. I can't complain. I've had plenty of opportunities, just didn't take advantage of them. So, thanks for watching, and uh, hope y'all have a blessed New Year's. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Tuesday, December 31st, and it is about 3.45. So, with that being said, this is the last day, not the last day, the sun shining in my face setting. Uh, we have less than two hours left on our West Virginia 2019 big game season. And actually, <laughs> not very many hours left in 2019, matter, matter of fact, but uh, just wish everybody a happy new year. Hope your season was great. Uh, if you still got some time, I hope you're still out pursuing, if you still got tags to do. Uh, if not, I uh, hope you had a good season and uh, looking forward to next year's or spring gobbler or, or whatever it is else you pursue. Uh, I know our uh, uh, squirrel, season and they actually last year they uh, extended it from the January 31st to the end of February last year so that is definitely my plans I can buy my license tonight online if I wish I thought about going tomorrow but I think I'm just gonna take tomorrow off and just chill I do have some stuff to do tomorrow afternoon anyway I'm just gonna take tomorrow off and just relax I'm off work I've worked the last two days I'm off tomorrow and I'll finish out Thursday and Friday and then uh, uh, I'll be busy all day Saturday. I won't have a chance to go Saturday, but <clears throat> definitely uh, try to get some uh, squirrel hunting in. It is uh, about 46 degrees right now. Yeah, I think the highest it got, at least I know, it was about 49 today. Uh, it was in the 60s yesterday. It's supposed to be in the mid 40s tomorrow. It's supposed to be quite chilly tonight. Um, I have a doe tag and I still have two bow tags. Now we can kill two deer in one day. Uh, the likelihood of that happening is not very good for me because I chose to bring my gun. I can't bring a gun and a bow in the field at the same time. Um, I typically, anytime I get to hunt the very last day of the year, I always bow hunt if I have a tag left. And unfortunately, I got two this year, but I am really wanting some more deer meat, and uh, 243 is just going to give me a lot better option than taking a bow shot, unfortunately. So. Cannot complain though, I should have very easily, could have very easily had all my bow tags filled before now, and even my doe tag really. Uh, just got a little, little picky, something I've said I don't like to do, and then normally I don't do, but man, it was a nice buck up here I was chasing. I had one opportunity at him and I missed it. And that was the last time I seen him and he's not been on camera since. And that was early second week of November. So anyway, but uh, Anyway, like I said, I am going to uh, work on getting a doe this evening, hopefully. Uh, like I said, time I get in the tree stand. It is very clear today, so and it was like this Saturday, too. And it didn't get, I actually had shooting light to about 535, which was really unusual. Um, the sun is out and pretty bright and clear, so uh, if I have that much time, I've got almost two hours, just shy of two hours right now before sunset. And I'm only about 100 yards from the tree I'm going to climb in. Um, I do plan on uh, probably putting this end of the year video together, uh, probably tomorrow, maybe tonight, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Probably hopefully get it downloaded tomorrow. And uh, yeah, just thanks for watching. Thanks for tagging along with me on this season. It wasn't nearly as successful in some ways. Some ways it was, some ways it wasn't, as I hoped it had been. Uh, but like I said, it's a lot of that's my fault. I, I had plenty of opportunities this year. I cannot complain. You know, I always hate to see it come to an end, but. Uh, you know, later, and the older I've gotten, the more I realize that no matter how much you absolutely love something, which I absolutely love to hunt, especially bow hunt, you know, if I did it every, once or twice a week all year round, I don't think I would be as passionate about it as what I am. It's took me a little while in age and life to figure that out. So, as much as I hate to see it coming in, like I said, we still have opportunities for me to be out in the woods. Spring gobbler's not far away. 
Uh, I've really gotten into that over the last few years and actually kind of successful at it and kind of shocked me because I never considered myself a good hunter or anything, but uh, I've actually had some success with some spring gobblers. So uh, looking forward to that coming up. Plus I get extra vacation time at work this year, so I should give me a few extra days in the spring woods for that. And uh, like I said, I will be running my feeders up till March, uh, probably in February, I'll start running mineral sites again. So I'll definitely keep some uh, trail cam pictures uh, rolling, probably little videos here or there, show you the minerals that I use and stuff like that. So, uh, and like I said, one of my biggest things next year is definitely to try to get some better uh, video uh, equipment to uh, make a little better footage with. So guys, uh, if I don't get anything, this will be the uh, close of this video and close of this season and close of this everything for me right now. So, uh, like I said, just thanks again. I don't have a lot of subscribers, but thanks for you guys who do watch. And uh, probably, hopefully, in the next week or so, uh, I do plan on doing an end of the year review of my season. Get a little more in depth on a few things. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm definitely going to do some reviews on my uh, new equipment this year especially the saddle I went with and all the uh, equipment surrounding it, that I, all the new equipment I got with it. So some videos you can be looking forward to. Like I said, when I start putting some mineral sites out, I'll do some videos on them too. So I ain't done. Just cause hunting season's over with. I'll keep some stuff coming, try to keep uh, some stuff going. Hopefully I'll have some really good recording equipment by uh, spring over season. So uh, God bless. A happy New Year and thank you all. Well, guys, you probably can't see me very good. You can see my outline a little bit. This party is over. It is uh, about five minutes till six, I guess. I stayed in the tree till about 6.42, 6.43 when I started packing up my stuff. I mean, that was the absolute last zero light. Uh, did have a very, very small doe come in. I saw a couple more deer, but they never come my way. I think one of them was a, a doe and the other young one. But uh, they come up out of the neighbor's property and crossed over on uh, where I'm at. And, but they went the opposite way. They never come my way. So, uh, anyway, that's like I said, I did have an extremely small deer. It's probably the smallest deer I've ever seen. They didn't have spots. I mean, this thing wasn't very big at all. It's, I was actually comparing it to my our dog we got the house. The only difference is the deer's legs was a little bit longer. And uh, I just chose not to shoot something that small. So... Anyway, it's been fun. Uh, like I said, just always hate to see it come to an end, but yeah, you know, September's not far away. So if you look at it that way, so there's a lot of stuff going on between now and then. Like I said before, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking along with me. I'm, I'm not done yet. I'll have you know videos here or there popping up for with different things on it, but uh, we'll go ahead and go home and uh, spend the rest of the evening celebrating New Year's Eve and the end of New Year's with my family like we usually do. Watch movies and just sit around and eat a bunch of snacks. So God bless and Happy New Year.